Today's story is about a Jew and a Samaritan. Called it the Good Samaritan. Love that one. Huh? It's not the Good Samaritan. And it's about a Jew and a Samaritan. Okay. What is it then? The Jew in this story is Jesus himself. Have you ever dropped a hint before? Like maybe something you'd love for your birthday or Christmas? Or if someone's eating a sweet and you get up real close to them and say, that smells so good. Well, the story we're looking at today involves Jesus dropping a few hints about who he was to a woman he met at a well, a Samaritan woman. Oh, if I had a penny for every time I made a friend at a well. Let me set the scene. It's hot, like proper hot. It's a sizzler of a day, the sort of day where your parents are constantly slapping sun cream on you. What factor are we talking? Back to 50, 50 plus. Okay, that's hot. Jesus is thirsty and the rest of the disciples have gone into town to get some food. Where are they going? What are they getting? Getting a cheeky Nando's. Oh, I love cheeky Nando's. So Jesus asks the Samaritan woman if she would be so kind as to get him some water from the well. But I thought Jews and Samaritans don't get on. Historically, yes. But Jesus breaks down every barrier you can think of. Jesus is different. He's all about love and acceptance. The Samaritan woman is a little taken aback by Jesus talking to him. She's an outcast and actually has a bit of a reputation. Why has she got a reputation? What, a bad reputation? Ooh, why? Oh, huh. You can ask your parents about her reputation, but needless to say, she isn't used to people making small talk with her. But Jesus doesn't do small talk. So he's asked her for a drink, but he says, if you knew who I was, you would be asking me for a drink and I would give you living water. Living water? What's that, like sparkling water? But Jesus isn't carrying lots of bottles. He doesn't even have a cup with him. So what was he going to give her? She asks more questions of Jesus and begins to understand what he is really talking about. Everyone who drinks this water will be thirsty again. But if you drink the water I give, you will never thirst again. What? I know what you're thinking. If I drink some of this water, my parents will never badger me again about getting my water intake. Jesus goes on, the water I give will become in them a spring of water welling up to eternal life. Eternal life? He's not talking about actual water. He's talking about himself. Jesus is the living water. He is the one who can give us everything we need. He never runs out. Then Jesus goes on into full hello I'm God mode. He reveals that he knows everything about this woman's life. Like everything. Things only God could know, including how she got her reputation. Oh, the woman is amazed by Jesus and she wants to know how to worship God. Jesus told her that God the Father was looking for worshippers who would worship in spirit and truth, wherever they were, whatever they were doing. The woman at the well couldn't wait to tell everyone about what Jesus had said about everything he knew. Her fellow Samaritans came to the same conclusion. Jesus really is the saviour of the world. Here's the thing, Jesus knows everything about you too and he longs for you to know the truth that in him alone is eternal life. He is the only one who can give us everything we need. Sometimes we can find ourselves putting our trust in things other than Jesus. And although those things can bring us much joy and fun, they can't do it forever. They're not able to. But Jesus is able to. He is the living water that will never run out for all eternity. That's worth all our worship all of the time. And just like the woman at the well, we can tell our story. We can tell our friends and family about Jesus, about the eternal hope we have in him. You can read about the woman, the water and the well for yourselves in the book of John chapter four.